what is up guys, t Day here and welcome to a brand new episode of my Fulham career mode. I believe this is episode number 6 now, but we're starting off on the loan and sell player screen because we need to bring back a loan player. I actually forgot all about Alexander Kachaliknic. He was a player last year that was pretty, you know, decent for a career mode team if you wanted to sign him. 73 overall as well. I believe he was 4 star skills last year. This year he is not, but we're going to bring him back because Rolando Aarons just got injured. Of course, Pat Roberts is still injured, so we are lacking a bit on the wings. We've been having to play Hydzara on the left wing, and that's not that great, so... Uh, we're going to bring Kachaliknic back, but as you can see, Patrick Roberts also returned from his injury, so he'll still need a few games to come back and play in the first team. So Kachaliknic came back on just the perfect time, and honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping him for the whole duration of the series. I might end up selling him in January. I might end up signing a few players on free transfers. I might look to sign different players. I already said I'm looking to sign Nathan Redmond in there, so that's definitely a, a winger we're looking to sign. I'm also thinking of signing a new striker because Taggart hasn't been that impressive for me and McCormack has been impressive but I, I just really don't like Ross McCormack that much I, I don't know what it is I just really don't like him but we're taking on Brighton for the first game of this episode of course Jack Grealish has been in, in amazing form so far this season for us and uh, he's in this game at Cam and Kachaliknic is making his season debut for us in the left wing spot but we're going to start off in the seventh minute with Moussa Zembele pushing down the left wing tries to chip the key Keeper, but Stockdale is able to get to it before it goes over him because it was a bit of a lazy chip effort. But 37th minute now, Ross McCormack pushing man off the ball. His touch was a little bit late though, and they do manage to push it out of play for, I believe it might have even been a goal kick on that one. Pretty bad. 45th minute now though, a chance for Brighton is they're going to swing it forward to Mikhail Smith, who's going to sweat it over. Look at that deliberate sweat. But, um, but fortunately for us, it was offside, so nothing resulted of that play. But... 45th minute now, Jack Grealish is going to try a bit of skill here. He's our only five, uh, four star skiller on the pitch, which is just a bit disappointing. He's going to try to burb a spin back, but again, same as McCormack, his touch just let him down. Couldn't get the shot off before the defender got there. As we're in the 59th minute now, Toko, who I, I really like, I really, really like. Uh, he's just a great crew mode player couldn't find the shot and their shot just goes out of play That was a very weird sequence of play and fortunately it does not lead to a goal for us But Kachaliknic steals the ball in the 67th minute our high pressure high tempo play works out in our favor Here's McCormack's gonna body faint inside sees a lot of space and his left-footed shot finds the back of the net To make the score 1-0 his scoring form continues and this one was not from a penalty So it was a great effort from him look at that body faint to get around the defender he just sat there and a lovely finesse shot finds the back of the net to get his eighth goal of the season and he's just been in fantastic form I wonder if I could sell him for a pretty decent profit in January but we'll see 79th minute now Ross McCormack again on the ball is going to chip it over to Jack Grealish whose first time half volley goes just wide of the frame of goal unfortunately couldn't get a second one there but 84th minute we got Moussa Zembele on the ball he's going to pass over outside to Paul George and Tep he's going to try to body faint gets the ball taken away crosses over anyway Heinemann's touch goes over to Jack Grealish who's gonna slot it into the back of the net to get his fourth goal in four games for him and it, it, he's just been in fantastic form absolutely ridiculous for us so far this season and it's been fantastic two goals in this game against Brighton the team that was ahead of us in the table so we definitely needed that a lovely pass from the head of Heinemann finds Grealish and he slots it home easily to make it 2-0 Four goals in four games. That is just ridiculous from Jack Grealish. And we win the game 2-0 to push us up the table even further. Great, great win. We definitely needed that. And as you can see, we, we basically outclassed them. They had more possession, barely, but we had more shots. More shots on target. Everything, anything you like like that. We, we played really, really well in that game. And Kachaliknic actually played very, very well in his debut. But... Yeah, we're taking on Norwich for this one, uh, a team that I really, really like in real life, mainly just because their jerseys, I think, are freaking sick. And, of course, Nathan Redmond plays for them, who we're trying to sign in January, so maybe we can snatch him up. They got great strikers with Gary Hooper, who's on the ball right here as he passes over to Cameron Jerome, who finds Housen. Housen's going to chip it. Oh, not chip. He's actually just going to throw ball over in the first time effort from Gary Hooper. It just, what the hell was that from Kerry Hooper? Absolutely ridiculous shot in the fourth minute 
to make the score 1 0. Rid ridiculous shot from Kerry Hooper. I could not believe that that just found the back of the net. Freaking ridiculous effort from Gary Hooper like that that's just ridiculous on the first time shot to fly into the back of the net our keeper didn't even make an effort on that one but we're gonna start straight from kickoff Musan Zembele is having none of that is he's just gonna run his way past the whole Norwich defense he's gonna fake shot back here take a shot near post and finds the back of the net to make the score 1-1 and put us back on level terms early in this game my confidence was a bit drained after they scored that one because there was nothing I could do about that Gary Hooper strike it just soared into the back of the Net. But Musa Dembele luckily had enough pace, enough class to slice this one into the back of the net near post past the keeper. Lovely goal, especially from this angle. The keeper just barely missed it, and it was fantastic for Musa Dembele getting his first goal in the championship. He's played very well for me when he's played, but first goal for him is kind of weird, kind of disappointing, but he, he's played well nonetheless. 27th minute now, they have another chance with Housen, whose shot goes just off of our keeper, Ruben Blanco, and Haidara is able to clear it away, but we're in the second half now, 56th minute and McCormack finds Emerson Hyman. The American's going to try to go around here. He had men forward, but they were all offside. He tries to take a shot. It's deflected by the defender. It's Hutchinson, of all people, is forward. Finds Jack Grealish. You see he's Hyman making a run. He's going to fake shot right here inside. Try to take a shot, but McCormack's there to put the loose ball into the back of the net to make the score 2-1. Fantastic stuff there from all, all the players really just linked up really, really well there. Heinvin, McCormack, and Grealish formed to make that goal happen. And McCormack is his second goal of the episode. Nine goals in the league this season for him. So, like I said, hopefully we can sell him on because I just really don't like Ross McCormack that much. I don't know what it is, but I just kind of don't like him that much. I like him in real life, but in, in this game, I just kind of don't like him. He seems sluggish to me, although he is a great finisher. But 87th minute now. We, they pass it back to Ruddy, who passes it right to Jack Grealish, but as you can see, his stamina is just drained. As Ruddy is just like messing around with the ball here, we almost were able to put it in the back of the net off of a deflection, but they're going to take it here, pass it forward to Houlihan. Kachaliknich is trying to take the ball away, we play really, really high pressure defense. As they pass forward, it's taken away, Grealish is on the ball now. He sends it over to Emerson Hyman, whose stamina is also drained. They get the ball right back with Bennett, who will send it over to Martin Olsen, who is just a beast in ultimate team by the way my gosh sends it forward to Gary Hooper Hooper whips it over to Basong in his first time volley the center back puts it into the back of the net in the 90th minute so disappointing there able to find the back of the net what a strike from the center back to get them one point in this game at Craven Cottage very disappointing two shots two on target two goals for Norwich very very unlucky for us, but Portugal come in and say they want to offer me an international uh, management offer. I believe uh, Ecuador also sent me one in this episode, but I don't know if I really wanted to do that. I like more of a challenge, and honestly, Ecuador seems more enticing to me than Portugal. Obviously, Portugal has Ronaldo, but Ecuador just seems more enticing, especially with João Plata, who is forming up the ranks on the Ecuadorian squad. He plays for Real Salt Lake, my hometown team in real life. But anyway, we're taking on Wigan for the next game. And we're going out with this team. It's basically our starting lineup at the start of the season, minus uh, Tagger. We have Dembele up front instead of him. So it should work out well either way for us. But we do have Pat Roberts starting in this game for the first time since he got injured. Either way, Jack Grealish is going to start off on the ball here. Tries a bit of skill with the roulette, and he tries to whip it over, but it goes out of play for a corner. It is the 70th minute. This is how boring this game was. So we decided to make some substitutions. It was a very, very boring game. Like I said, we needed to bring on a bit of something else to help us get that goal. So we're going to bring on Adam Taggart for Musa Dembele. I believe we take off. Yes, we do. And we're also going to take off... Um, NTEP, I believe, for catch a league niche. Now we're going to take off Ross McCormack, that's who, and then we put NTEP up at the striker position just to add a bit of pace up there as well as bring in catch a league niche. But from the corner, we got Jack Grealish to take this one, of course, our normal corner taker. All the substitutes come in. We decide to run near post, have everyone run near post. It's a really nice corner tactic. Tactic. I really love this tactic. He whips it in. Who's there? Kachaliknich finds the back of the net with his header to make the score 1-0 in our favor. Really, really ridiculous stuff from the substitute. It's his third game back from coming coming back from loan from Copenhagen. And he's able to get us the lead 
against Wigan. Absolutely ridiculous stuff from him, and he he's able to make the score 1-0. Freaking ridiculous. First goal back for him, and I'm really looking forward to see what he can do now. But the only notable thing that happened after that was Tolisso getting injured. I don't remember how long he's injured for, but I do know, obviously, that he did get injured. So we had to take him out. We put... Cruz up to the center mid and put Palmer Brown back to defense, but the game would end 1-0 nevertheless. We It was a pretty even game, pretty boring game, and uh, yeah, so this will be the end of the episode, like I said, uh, like I just barely said. I don't know what I'm talking about, but this will be the end of the episode either way. Three games played, we'll have another three games tomorrow uh, for another episode of this but if you have any suggestions for me for players you want me to sign and whatnot I'm looking at Nathan Redmond obviously already but if there's any other players you want me to sign in January leave them in the comment section down below that'd be greatly appreciated but I'll see you tomorrow for the first game against Bolton in the league we currently sit six McCormack is our leading scorer let's see how this all works out oh let's actually see how long uh, he's out for out for nine days okay so that's not too bad but either way I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode of this I'm T-Real Day and I'm out